Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of January the 23rd to the 30th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So go check me out. I welcome and invite you to look at my website. And that is www.BrendaTarot, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, my friend. We start our week, Scorpio, on Monday with an air card. And you have been given the Ten of Air. And <clears throat> air cards have to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives and having to make fair and just uh, decisions that uh, involve these individuals. But it can also have to do with the justice system, which is the legal system and lawyers and courts and etc. But this is the, the end of this type of a difficult situation for some of you. And there's going to be change coming in on, the, on your path and you should embrace that change. You should also expect things to be getting better. Okay, but this is also the beautiful card that speaks of the recovery of any addictions. Five of Earth for Tuesday, the material card, and this has to do with our jobs, careers, professions, and how we bring that abundance and currency into our lives. But it also can deal with issues to do with Mother Earth and the ecosystem and our closest circle, which is our family. But this is telling me that it has to do with money and uh, there are concerns about money with some of you. There's fears surrounding money right now and you need to accept the wisdom and the help from others that can guide you there. So perhaps it's your financial investor, it's your banker, uh, it's your employer, it's your bookkeeper, whoever you can rely on. Go and seek out the wisdom of them to guide you there and perhaps set up a budget or some way of uh, making things a bit easier for you. The, it shows me that there's some of you that are um, worried about your business, you're self-employed and you have uncertainties about the business uh, doing well too. So again, this card cautions you to go and seek out the wisdom and help from someone who can set you up better there so that you don't have those worries. Crowning your week on Wednesday, you've been given another air card, and this is the King of Air. <clears throat> and this tells me that you're going to have to speak your mind now, but you're going to be able to do it with confidence because you're going to be groomed and you are going to seek out someone who can give you professional advice. You need to be balanced mentally and emotionally in order to step up on your platform and speak your truth uh, that you're going to be dealing with. Balance for, pardon me, no, justice. Sorry, major card justice. So justice is coming up a lot here. This is for Thursday. And again, this is about um, making fair and just decisions and choices with people involved and doing what you know is right and standing up for your own beliefs. And and so your justice is coming in here an awful lot. And it's all about you trying to make a decision and you need to be objective. So when you are making this decision objectively, it will be made in your favor and it's going to work out. But you need to resist any injustice coming in, okay? There may be the issuing uh, of an apology or the acceptance on your part of an apology. Ego for Friday. Well, you know that's not my favorite card. And the ego has to do with doing a bandage fix. So we often go out and do crazy things like spend too much money that we and buy things that we don't need and do things that we shouldn't do. And we, we, we tend to do it on the spur of the moment and in excess. And what it is, is it's a bandage fix, it's escapism, and it's trying to block out the emotional problem or the root problem that we need to deal with. So it's um, feeling the false sense of entrapment, it's being overly focused on material things and negative and fear-based thoughts. So please deal with the root problem. Don't go out there and then regret uh, having done something foolish because it, you were... Um, acting impulsively to try to hide in a situation you didn't want to deal with. On Saturday, you've been given the Magician, another major card. And this is all about trying to, um, <clears throat> uh, it's all about you're ready now. Uh, and things are ready for you. Yeah, things are right now. Timing's right for you to be doing anything. And if you're wanting, you know, to live out your dreams and manifest them, know that that's possible because it also speaks of um, unexpected resources coming in to help you create 
that that magic create that dream that you're trying to work on and you're wanting to see come to play so um there will be some unexpected resources so don't give up on your dreams you're ready and you have the resources and the ability to manifest them as though life were magical my friend end of the week sunday you've been given another air card and this is a two of air and as you can see i call this my locking horns card two very different individuals and they've locked horns neither one of you wants to pull away you're pretending that you know some magical thing will happen and uh, just like the magician card that some magical thing's going to happen and this issue is going to just disappear well you can't pretend there isn't a problem and right now both of you are being unable and unwilling to make a decision and you're at a stalemate so one of you has to pull away and say, well, you know, if you can't do this, then I'll do it for you. I'll make the decision. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters Oracle card. And look what they gave you. They gave you fertility. So this is telling me that some of you are um, in the process of wanting to conceive and have a child. And some of you will be adopting a child during the process and will want to and will be adopting a child. But it's also about fertility with beginnings of things and, and, and giving birth to new ideas and things new on your path in life as well. And that things are good right now, that things are at a very good place for uh, you to see your plans grow and manifest uh, in a healthy way. So fertility means that things are right, timing is perfect, and things will work out great for you. So adoption having a child, conceiving, and the birthing of new ideas and things on your path. I wish you a great remainder to today, Scorpio, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. <clears throat> Nobody gets through life without losing someone they love, someone they need, or something they thought was meant to be. But it is in these losses that make us stronger and eventually move us toward future opportunities. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, Scorpio.